Two-year-old Tronders are coming onto the track at DuCoin for race eight, the eighth of our nine races today. Second division of the Hayes Memorial for two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings, again for a purse of $37,000. No scratches. Let's meet the starters. Number one is Cantab Hall, owned by George Siegel's Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky, by the Lindy Racing Stable of the Antonacci family of Connecticut, by Jerry Silva of Belmore, New York, and the Sampson Street Stable of Old Forge, Pennsylvania, trained by Ron Gerfine, the driver Michael Chance. 1A is Face Off, owned by Sampson Street Stable, by Christina Tactor of New Jersey, and John Fielding of Ontario, trained and driven by Jimmy Tactor. Number two is Manasquan, owned by Chuck Sylvester of Williamstown, New Jersey, by Winged Foot Farms of Florida, and by Neil Goldman, trained by Chuck Sylvester, the driver Dave McGee. Number three is Orlando Hall, owned in Southern Illinois by Janet Emerson of Golconda, trained by her husband Harley Emerson, and the driver Newton, Illinois driver Fred Finn, Jr. The four is Photo Color, owned by Jim Geis of Chicago, by D.J. Miller of Lake Mary, Florida, and by Irvin Miller of Springfield, Illinois, trained by Irvin, the driver is Andy Miller. Number five will be Great Challenger, owned by Jules and Arlene Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania, trained by Jim Campbell. Jim's brother, John Campbell, is in the bike. Number six, No Bank Guarantee, is owned by JML Stables of Heathrow, Florida, trained and driven by Lexington, Kentucky's Buzzy Schulte. And number seven, Kentucky Cosmos, owned by R.A. Johnson of Pompano Beach, Florida, by J.D. Locke of Springfield, Ohio, trained by Doug Locke. The driver is Eric Ledford. Post time for this division of the Hayes Memorial. And for those of you watching the monitors now, we see a look at number five, Great Challenger, who has just come out of the paddock at the head of the stretch. Post time is three minutes away. They are at the post. The gate's rolling for today's eighth event. Here they come. They are off and trotting with the exception of Kentucky Cosmos who made a break at the start. There goes Manasquan up the rail to get the early lead as they enter the first turn. Great Challenger moves up on the far outside into the second position as they race toward the quarter mile mark and Great Challenger is up to get the lead. That called a half brother to this year's Hambletonian winner Amigo Hall and he leads it by three parts of a length. It is Manasquan who's racing in second. Cantab Hall is third. Photo Color is fourth. Orlando Hall is racing in the fifth position as they move by the quarter mile mark and then face off no bank guarantee and a long way back to Kentucky Cosmos last 29 and 2 the time for the opening quarter. Great Challenger has made the top by a length, but here comes Cantab Hall. The favorite moves up on the outside, and Cantab Hall is up to get the lead just off the three-eighths. Leads it by a length and a half now. Great Challenger second. Manasquan is racing in third, and Photo Color is fourth. Orlando Hall along the rail in fifth, followed by face-off, no bank guarantee, and a long way back to Kentucky Cosmos. The half in 58 and three-fifth seconds. Cantab Hall leading it by a length. Great Challenger is second by a length. Midway on the far turn. And then Manasquan is third. Photo Color fourth. There goes Orlando Hall, the Southern Illinois-owned trotter. Moves up into fourth. He's four lengths off the lead. Face-off will follow his cover as they move by the three-quarter mile mark. Cantab Hall leads it a length and a half and still followed closely by Great Challenger off the three quarters in 128. Cantab Hall leads it though by two lengths turning for home. Great Challenger is racing in the second position. Orlando Hall is up on the outside trying to move up to take third as they move by the eighth pole. Cantab Hall has the lead by three lengths. Great Challenger is second. Manasquan fights back toward the rail to regain third then Photo Color is fourth and Cantab Hall under no stress whatsoever just cruising on home to win this. Cantab Hall by three lengths close for second either Photo Color or great challenger for place the time in 156 and 2. Folks into the winner's circle owned by Brittany Farms, Lindy Racing Stable, Jerry Silva, and Samson Street Stable, trained by Ron Gerfine, driven by Mike Lachance. How about a hand for number one, Cantab Hall? 156 and 2 the time. Jane Hayes Raider and Carol Hill making presentation of the trophy in the winner's circle for today's eighth race to the connections of Cantab Hall.
Folks, we're pleased to be joined in the winner's circle by Mr. George Siegel of Brittany Farms, one of the co-owners of Cantab Hall. Mr. Siegel, colt from the first crop by self-possessed. First of all, this horse is off to a great start as a sire, isn't he? He's off to a tremendous start, and uh, this is one of his best colts. Not to put you on the spot, but I know people here in the Midwest, they saw this colt at Springfield. They've seen him here today. Is he eligible to some of the major stakes this fall, in particular the Breeders' Crown? Is this a Breeders' Crown type horse? Well, the horse costs three hundred thousand dollars, and you don't pay three hundred thousand not stake him. He staked everything. That's great, George. I know that people enjoy watching the Grand Circuit. It means a lot to the racing fans in the Midwest, and of course, you've got some Midwestern ties yourself. Congratulations. Thank you very much, George Siegel, our winning co-owner for today's eighth race, and Cantab Hall, folks. Look for him later this fall in the Breeders' Crown. <laughs>